the Amish have this idea that all of life is sacred. It's not just what you do on Sundays that's important. It's 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 how you work on Monday. You know, they're not just making the furniture for themselves or not just for the customers, but this is an expression of their faith. I grew up in a Mennonite community. Uh, we lived around Amish people, so it's very much a part of who I am. I was trying to find furniture locally and couldn't find American-made solid wood furniture. So I came to Jim with the suggestion of, you know, why don't we sell Amish-made furniture? I would have considered us a real pioneer in this. In 2003, we were one of the only maybe one or two internet retailers selling Amish-made furniture. It was important for us when we started out to develop relationships and to know our woodworkers and to meet them face to face. We spend a lot of time and energy making sure that we continue to develop those layers and levels of trust that exist between the, the folks that are making the product and we who are representing it on the internet. And since we are selling it online, a lot of our customers you know, put their faith in us that they're going to be receiving a quality product. So we want to make sure that that's what they're going to be receiving. It, you know, technology is great, but you know, for me, even more important is that commitment to doing what's right with the customer. There are new dimensions of shopping that I think customers want to have and experience, and I think it's important for us to continue to listen to that and to be innovative to try to meet those needs. What won't change is that we'll continue to make sure that we do the best we can with every single customer. Uh, both in terms of the quality of their furniture and also the, the service that they get from us.